I was excited after winning on her last time as I have been on any, any race I've ridden all year. Because we have that race in front of us. Did you think you could ever get her up there in time in this race? Because she, you're so far back. Well, Tom, she's really funny. Like, uh, she hasn't been firing as as good as, as the old Delta Colleen. She kind of lost a step, I, I'd felt. And But last time out, we were going short, and I just kind of let her dawdle along behind like I always do. You can't do too much with her early. And uh, when I sat down on her and picked up the lines at the 3-8 pole and asked her to run, she just kind of hit a new gear. And, and as soon as she did, she reminded me of, of back in her heyday years when when she was really rolling, and, and as soon as she switched gears with me down the backside, even though I was 16 or 17 lengths out of it, I knew that I had I had the race won, and even though I had a long ways to go. Chris, all the races you won, what kind of rush is it when you when you got a filly like this or a mare that just kicks in like It's got to be high. Well, it sure is exciting, Tom. It's uh, it's hard to explain actually because. It, it doesn't even seem real when you're when you're riding it. Like it doesn't seem like the rest of the horses are running when she really kicks it in. Like like you think that you feel like you're the only one that's moving in the whole race. So it's it's a really incredible feeling. And I've ridden a lot of races in my life now, and you know, 15,000 or so, and and uh, she's the only horse that's ever provided me with that type of thrill. Delta Colleen, hundred cheered. Delta Colleen. Delta Colleen, where did she come from and how did you get her? Uh, Klein Hoggard uh, raised her and uh, when he passed away, she went in the sale uh, as dispersal of his horses and Dan Kenny bought her for Mr. Franks. When they bought her, then they sent her to Washington to Leonard Kasmerski and he had her as a two-year-old. He sent her up to me. He, she'd broke her maiden, I believe, for 40000 He sent her up to me to run for him. I galloped her the day before and she felt terrible. Just like she didn't even want to get around the racetrack. But uh, the day she run, she sh Sam Krasner rode her and see this come from dead last and win by a nose, but uh, I mean, she was a runner. If she wants to go hard, you're not gonna stop her anyway. And if she wants to go easy, it's pretty hard to make her go. Oh yeah, if you try to make a run early, she just, she won't even end up firing for you. So you just have to leave her alone and just let her do her own thing and she does it. She really, really enjoys going out and training in the morning, you know? And she'll just stand at the door all day and, and watch everybody work and do their thing. She never really gets too excited about things either. When she, when she knows there's a race coming up, she just sits back in the stall and she waits. And she waits. And she listens for when the races are going on and then she gets excited, you know. And then when it's her time to come, she's just raring to go. That's why in a race when you see her waiting in the back, she's just waiting for, say, Chris, come on, we're ready. You know, and when you ask her, she takes off. Delta Colleen is now flying on the outside. Darcia is the trailer. Now as they turn for home, so many slows with the lead by a length and a half. Devil Air, ladies' excuse at the rail. Delta Colleen in the middle of the track. It's Delta Colleen now taking the lead. Delta Colleen at so many slows. Delta Colleen. Time now for the Sport of Kings Haas movie trivia. In the 1979 movie, The Black Stallion, what was the name of Mickey Rooney's character? We'll have the answer later on in the show. Don't go away. The Sport of Kings will be right back. Time now for the answer to our Sport of Kings Haas movie trivia. Back in 1979, the movie was The Black Stallion. The character was Mickey Rooney. What was his character's name? He played trainer Henry Daly. Hey, trivia buffs, are you a fan of the movies? If so, check out sportofkingstv.com for Tommy's review of all the latest flicks. Tommy Walski, The Sport of Kings, and Hollywood. They go hand in hand. The Sport of Kings shines its camera on the equine heroes competing for glory in the biggest weekly Hastings race. We call it our Race of the Week. The Race of the Week is brought to you by Nick's Spaghetti House. Nick's Spaghetti House, combining great food in a horse racing atmosphere. Today on our Race of the Week brought to you by Nick's Spaghetti House. 
You'll be looking at some fine fillies and mares competing in a $50,000 Senate appointee stakes. It's going six and a half furlongs. Interesting notice in this race, there is an unbeaten horse. She's going for number five. Her name is Concert Music. Enjoy and see if she gets up there. Kawea Princess is owned by Very Unstable. Kawea Princess is coming off a strong second place finish in the Brighouse Bells and will be looking to stock a fast pace today. There's some speed to run at today. Clarinet is out there and uh, hopefully John's horse is out there burning off as well and we can stock and, and pounce. Summer Song is owned by North American Thoroughbred Racing Company. Summer Song's making her first start of the year at Hastings and look for her to be near the lead. Summer Song's coming in the race really good, Tom. Um, you know, there's a lot of speed in here and actually, um, I don't know how she's going to run six and a half furlongs then. But this is the best she's ever been. Pretty tough race? Tough race. Going longer, different story. Clarinet is owned by Nina Egbert. Clarinet is an Emerald Downs invader with stakes victories to her credit. She will force the pace today from the rail. It's a feeling you can fight her too much, so you just got to take her out of the gate and relax. She got tons of speed, so just try to slow her down and don't fight her too much. And She's fit, she tell, and she really believes on the Philly today. So, Concert music is owned by Ross McLeod and Rob Fiorvento. Concert Music puts her unbeaten streak on the line today, but her bullet work recently shows that she'll be a factor again this afternoon. Two different styles. Concert's really a speed stalker, so I'm not going to really let that uh, Seattle horse get too far away. You know, we'll be right on her, and, uh, you know, a music will do, do that just by herself anyway, so uh, that's our plan. Blue Sky Holiday is owned by Tom and Tracy Bell, Dale Michaud, and Lindsay McLeod. Blue Sky Holiday might be the benefactor of a torrid early pace today. Winless in over a year, today just might be her day. She's got to tackle this. It's a tough field right now. Uh, uh, um, cancer Music and Seattle Horse, the one horse, is, they're pretty speedy horses. So for me, it's going to pick up the pieces. Hopefully I get there on time. Now let's enjoy this strong field of fillies and mares. They're going six and a half furlongs in the Senate appointee. There they go. Field of five, Phillies and Mare sent on the way in the center to Pointy, and clarinet from the inside as expected, right on the early lead. Concert music now comes to put pressure on. Right there is Kawea Princess, then on the outside comes Summer Song. Nearly trailer Blue Sky Holiday, into the clubhouse turn they go, they're in no hurry up front. And clarinet shows the way now by a tight length. Concert music, stocking trip on the outside. Down along the inside, Kawea Princess in third. Summer Song fourth, but only two off the lead. Two lengths for the back, Blue Sky Holiday. The opening quarter, they dawdled through it in 22 and four. Now the real running starts. Go on the inside, clarinet by a neck. Concert music, second by three quarters of a length. Summer Song's on the outside. Kawea Princess and Blue Sky Holiday into the far turn they go. Half, 47 flat. And concert music on the outside now pops ahead in front. Down on the inside, clarinets ask for more speed. It's three lengths back now to Kawea Princess, Summer Song, and Blue Sky Holiday. An eighth of a mile to run in the Senate appointee, and concert music goes on with it. Leads it by a length and a half. Clarinet trying to hold second. Kawea Princess third. Concert music, Kawea Princess. Concert music to score. Kawea Princess will be second. Looks like clarinet down on the inside, maybe third. And where'd you get this film? Uh, we got her in uh, the uh, Ocala sale down in Florida. Good find. Did you pick her? Yeah, absolutely I picked her. And we also got her for a very, very cheap price on <laughs> 12000 So, wow. wow. Yeah. Congratulations, Ross. Well deserved. Thanks very much. You have to be pleased, but run us to the race from where you were watching it, and if it went the way you want, obviously she won. Yeah, she did, but I mean, I, I'm watching two horses out there. You know, I, I've got a really nice horse in Blue Sky Holiday with, this isn't her deal. If, if the other horses go out fast up front, she's got a shot to close and really get a piece of it. She's so nice, but this just played right in the concert's uh, wheelhouse. I mean, when you go that slow and you give a horse with that much talent that slow a pace, you're never going to catch her. I mean, she just run off with it, with it, so. John, she's proved she's an exceptional filly. She's won five in a row now. Five in a row, yeah, five for five, yeah. 
What's next in the plan and how do you gauge it? Uh, well, we sit down with the owners, uh, Ross McLeod, Rob Fioravento, and, and go from there and map out a battle plan. Um, there's a big gap in the middle of the summer. There's talk of Del Mar maybe or something like that. And, and uh, if, if it's in the cards and the Phillies doing really well, I think we might have to give her a shot maybe after Canada Day to head down to Del Mar and give it, give it a rattle and then come back for the ballerina or something like that. So. Once again, congratulations. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Don't go away. The Sport of Kings will be right back. Today on uh, Salute to the Champions, brought to you by the Vancouver Frog, we take it back a few years to the year 2008. You'll be watching the Dubai Racing Carnival. It's the $2 million Golden Shaban Stakes. It's going six furlongs at 1,200 meters. And what is unique about this race, something you don't see too often, it's a straightaway. And all you want to pay attention to is 2008 Sprinter of the Year, Benny DeBull, who was on the outside, and he's got one hell of a run to make. Enjoy this unique race. The Salute to the Champions is brought to you by the Province Sports, where you can read Tommy Walski's column, Hoss Talk, every Friday. The Province Sports, it all starts here. They fly and they are racing in the Dubai Golden Shaheen. Munanam on the outside and Idiot Proof began well. Calrissian and Benny the Bull came out quickly. New Freedom showing all of his customary pace and Mudamares on the far side. Barbecue Eddie on the far side as they pedal fully into stride. And Colbo Blue too sticking to the far side as they end the first 400 metres. Idiot Proof leading from Munanam. Sarissa on the far side. Diabolical coming down the centre, followed by Bushwhacker, and then came Benny the Bull. Further back is Barbecue Eddie, Cobalt Blue, Drift Ice off the face. New Freedom and Nark a long way back with Calrissian, and Wood Adam had now dropped out to the tail of the field. Stark Crown has burst through in the centre. Stark Crown going through with Idiot Proof. Idiot Proof and Stark Crown, 250 metres to go. They're drifting down to the inside rail. Then Barbecue Eddie, here is Benny the Bull. Starting to flash down the centre of the track. Idiot Proof has drifted to the inside. Benny the Bull is reeling him in. Benny the Bull goes up to Idiot Proof. Benny the Bull takes the lead. And Benny the Bull beat Idiot Proof. Stark Ground is third. Then Barbecue Eddie. Followed by Esperamos. New Freedom Diabolical Dark Drift Ice. Muda Mares and then Sarissa. Further back, Cobalt Blue. Followed by Bushwhacker. Then Kelrissian. And Mudinum came in last of all. Okay, that's it for this edition of the Sport of Kings. And once again, on behalf of everyone here, we would like to say thank you for allowing us to be with you on this half hour. One thing to leave you with, very important, today is April Freezing Fundraiser Day here at Hastings Racecourse. This is a fine chance to bid on a silent auction or participate in the 50-50. Remember to keep them straight, but you know what? We will get you on that final turn.